All right, so today I wanted to talk about the difference in color gamuts. Um, we're going to use Apple's own color sync utility that ships with Mac OS. Um, I wanted to talk about the, the difference between what your eye can see, um, the new color profile that everybody's talking about with these uh, 5K IMAX and 5K displays from LG, and then sRGB, um, Adobe RGB, and finally CMYK. So we'll just fire up color sync. And we can take a look at this is a generic lab profile, so this is a mathematical representation of everything your eye can see. This is everything from the whitest whites all the way down to the blackest blacks and everything really in between. Um, now, as we get down into the P3, so this is the, the new 5K color gamut that, that Apple's been talking about, um, we can take a look and see that um, that is dramatically smaller than what your eye can see. Um, so we go from the full lab profile down to P3. Walking it down further, we can go to Adobe RGB. And so you can see that that is a little bit more clipped than what we have in P3. Now next in line is the most common color gamut. This is what most web images use. This is what most point shoot cameras use. When, when they save out a JPEG, they're, they're saving to sRGB. Say most monitors are tuned to sRGB. So we'll take a look at that. So you can see that that's even more clipped than Adobe RGB. We have Adobe RGB down to sRGB. Now, what most magazines are printed in is a four color process, or also known as CMYK. And so we can see that, that this is another um, representation of what you, the colors that you can produce using a CMYK profile. So we can see that everything is dramatically clipped versus what we can see on new P3 displays. So we go from what your eye can see to P3 to Adobe RGB down to sRGB and then finally CMYK, which is what most printed magazines look like. All right, thank you.